Rockstar Weight Loss Coach, and I'm coming to you from my basement, which also happens to be my gym. As you know, I'm a huge fan of at-home workouts, and so today I wanted to let you in on all the essentials that you need to have an at-home gym. And the great part of it is you can make it for free, or you can spend thousands of dollars on it. It's entirely up to you and your budget and what you want to do. So, if you don't want to spend any money at all, you don't have to. All you need is a space. So you can use a basement, you can use a garage, you can use your living room if you can move your coffee table out of the way. You don't even need a large space. Even if you just have a 6x6 six six or even 4x4, four four, it's not a big deal. If you can't move around, just move in one spot. As long as you're moving, you're burning calories. So, it doesn't matter what kind of space you have. Make your life work for you. The second thing, the basic thing you need is just you. If you have no money whatsoever, you can't afford anything, all you need is you. The internet is free, you can go online and find a whole bunch of different body weight exercises, cardio, strength training, anything like that. You can do high knees, run on the spot, jumping jacks, you can pretend to do jump rope, anything like that you can do with, without any equipment at all. You can do push-ups, you can do burpees, there's so much you can do without any equipment at all. So don't even worry about it. Just go online and say no equipment exercises or body weight exercises and you're fine. You're good to go. So that's the that's the most you need is the space to do it and you. Okay, so if you do have a little bit of money to burn, so many options open up for you as well. Uh, you could do a ton of things. The first thing I would highly recommend Get yourself some workout DVDs. It doesn't matter what they are. You can get some for 10 bucks. You can get some for 50 bucks. You can do stuff that you do one day a week or it's done in 30 days. Or you can get ones that are done in 60 days, 90 days. It's entirely up to you. I'm a huge program person. Just it keeps me going and I don't have to think. I don't have to make things up. I just do as I'm, as I'm told. So uh, at home workouts, invest in a few of them. I have like 10 so I don't get bored. Uh, secondly, you can grab either some hand weights. You don't need a lot. If you want to get a full range, go ahead. But if, if the, the bare basics, just get a set of three and it can be whatever you start off with. So if that means two pounds, five pounds, and like eight pounds, go for it. Five pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, whatever. Just get a few, uh, a, a set of weights. If you don't have the room for it, I highly recommend grabbing Resistance bands, resistance bands. These things are awesome. They're just like hand weights, but you can take them everywhere, anywhere you want. You can throw them in a basket, put them under your couch or whatever. It doesn't really matter. And you can use these for all types of resistance, upper body, lower body. They all come in different weights. Like this one here is not just a pretty, pretty teal color. It's uh, also five pounds. You can get 15 pounds. You can get 10 pounds. You can get 20 pounds you can get them, they go all the way up. So I highly recommend resistance bands. You definitely need a mat. This is going to be the number one thing I'm gonna tell you to do other than getting yourself and off the couch is you're gonna to need to get uh, a mat. Especially if you have hardwood floor, you're going to need a yoga mat or any kind of mat because that hard surface is gonna kill your legs. So definitely get that. Uh, what you can also use is you can use a stability ball. It's not just a beach ball. What you can do with this is it's called a stability ball for a reason. When you sit on this, you are challenging your balance and your stability and it actually works your entire core. And just sitting on it will actually give you an exercise, but you can also sit on it and say so if you've got your hand weights, you can do hand weights at the same time. You can do bicep curls while you're working your core. Or you can put your hands on the floor, feet on the stability ball and do push-ups and that's not that that's going to take your push-ups up to a whole new level because you're doing regular push-ups which are hard enough right but you're also challenging your core even more because your feet are off the ground there's so look again google so many ways that you can use a stability ball it's one of the best things that you can have in the house you can get ellipticals treadmills rowing machines spin bikes you can have all of them if you've got an entirely new room in your house go for it and you know what if you go on like Craigslist or Kijiji, you can get one for cheap because everybody buys them and lets it collect dust and then you can just get it for cheap. So go on Craigslist and Kijiji, you can make yourself a gym at home. And uh, these are my new babies. I just got these in the other week. Uh, these are the Bowflex Select Tech adjustable dumbbells. 
These go from five pounds to 52.5 uh, 52 pounds, and they're a great space saver because they're all right here. You just kind of select the weight that you want, pick it up, and you're good to go. So, whatever your budget, whether it's you're dirt poor and you're just desperate to get some weight off or get fit, or if you've got a whole hell of a lot of money to burn, you have choices. This is what I love about at-home gyms. You can do it whatever you want with whatever budget you have. So I hope you enjoy it. Go get fit, have fun, be healthy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.